Okay. Montreal used to be known as a renter's paradise. Now, I've got bad news for you. The housing crisis is likely to get worse before it gets better. So how did we get here? Well, let's explain it as supply and demand, starting with vacancy rates. This line shows the average vacancy rate or the percentage of available apartments in Montreal. The lower it is, the harder it is to find an apartment. Montreal is seeing a low vacancy rate, around 2%, and those available tend to be newer and more expensive units. Meanwhile, this is rent for a two-bedroom in Montreal, and last year, this line saw its biggest jump in 20 years. The CMHC projects that if more units aren't built, rent for a two-bedroom apartment in Montreal could go up 30% within two years. That could tighten the gap between Montreal and larger cities like Toronto or even Vancouver, where a two-bedroom apartment rents for $2,000 a month, so there's just not enough apartments for a growing demand, as migration to cities like Montreal has returned to pre-pandemic levels. But that's not the only reason why your rent is going up. An increasingly large share of Canadian rental housing is owned by larger financial operations. Investors have accounted for 20% of sales, while first-time homebuyers have only accounted for half since 2014. The average detached single-family home in Montreal costs more than $600,000. For most renters trying to become buyers, that's just simply out of reach, especially after a full year of interest rate hikes. It's not only putting pressure on home buyers, those hikes have cooled the construction of new housing, which was down 25% in Montreal last year. That may be why Quebec is set to fall significantly short of its target for new housing units this year. So what can be done and where do we go from here? In the long term, it is absolutely clear that we need a lot more housing than we currently have. In the meantime, what we need is policies that make it um, more um, viable to be a renter on a, a relatively uh, low income. He's talking about rent control and social housing that's based on income rather than market price. Because put simply, the market is eating up affordable units and it's unclear when, or even if, the market will correct itself.